Hello class, hello YouTube. I'm Trader Rick from Swing Trade from Scratch and my focus is on bringing you swing trading education so that you can become an independent professional swing trader. And the way that I teach that is through these videos where you can follow along with me each week to see how I'm picking the stocks that I'm swing trading. So here are the new stocks that I'm gonna focus on this week. I'm gonna show you how I came up with those and then give you my trading plan around those individual names and then I'm going to recap what's been going on in the stock market with an emphasis on these trades that I've already had open. The next opportunity for you to learn from me is by subscribing to my free weekly newsletter and watch list for swing trading. I'll give you my written trading plans for you to follow along with. And then I'll also recap what happened last week in the stock market by focusing on the most important news that took place and then provide you with my outlook for what's to come in the next week. In the stock market and then the final way that you can learn from me if you really like what you see you can sign up to take my courses on swing trading over at perfectyourtrading.com they're designed to give you the foundations and the basics that you'll need to be able to trade and then i'll show you my strategies and how i put all of that into practice as an independent professional swing trader so please visit those links that correspond to what you're interested in they're in the video description and if you want to just follow along with these videos, it would help if you subscribe, left a thumbs up, and then come back each week. So with that, we'll move into how I've come up with the stock selections for this week. Now, if you've been following along, you know that I had been trading the Invesco QQQ Trust on the long side. And I am going to recap that winning trade later on in the video. But this is also the new stock, or really ETF here, that I'm looking to trade in the upcoming week and I'm flipping my bias to the short side which is obviously a big time contrarian play right now. But if we look at the RSI, the relative strength index, it's climbing up above 70. A huge move on Friday. This is likely off of the back of the AI hype as well as the likelihood that a debt ceiling agreement was going to be reached and sure enough that deal did come to fruition over the weekend. So I do think that news is already baked in because anybody with a brain knew that a deal was going to be reached. So I do see the potential for a sell the news event. So the key level for the trade is what was ultimately my final price target on the long side, 345. I wanna see this level break down and then I wanna jump in on that red day on the short side and I'm going to use the same levels from the previous trade as my price targets this time 332.50, 321 and 314. Obviously it's an event driven trade on the technical side but there is also a macro factor here in play as well. Last week we had hawkish Fed speak. We had economic data that all of this was ignored. Claims were lower, stronger consumer spending, PCE and core PCE, which the Fed definitely pays a ton of attention to, those price indices were higher as well. The Fed Fund's futures market is now pricing in a 65% chance of another 25 basis point hike in June. And you remember the thinking was that the Fed was going to pause or skip an additional rate increase at the June meeting and see where the economic data was at before deciding what to do at the next meeting. So that 65% probability is up from a 17.4% probability last week. We also see the bond market climb higher and the equity market has been ignoring all this economic data Fed speak and activity in the bond market and that's due to this AI hype. The question for me then is how will the equity market react to a June rate hike? It's not been priced in and it seems more and more likely. This week we do have the jobs report coming out on Friday, June 2nd. So I think the information that we get there regarding the strength of the employment market, average hourly earnings, what we can learn about the path of inflation will ultimately dictate what the Fed does end up doing at the next meeting. So I'm still long on Tesla and I did get in on the AI hype with the Planeteer uh, joining that trade this week. I'll talk about those in a bit. 
So with those two longs being short on the Invesco QQQ Trust would make for a pretty good hedge in case tech does pull back with the likelihood that the FOMC is going to give us another rate hike coming up here. Another name that I think is worth watching, not something that I am super excited about potentially trading, but something that did come to my attention was this technical pattern. It looks like Shopify could break out and test those levels up there higher that you see in green. So this is just an event driven trade based on the technicals. I think if the jobs report this week does indicate that inflation is cooling off some and that the employment market is really beginning to weaken for the first time, that would be some news that could potentially help this stock break out. Uh, you see the gap up after their last earnings report and then some momentum after that before moving back down. So $60 is the key level that I'm looking at and that's pretty close to a key level that I had identified at the beginning of the year for my favorite stocks to potentially long in 2023. Haven't traded it yet but what I'm thinking here is if it can climb back above $60 and hold there and consolidate sideways for a couple of days and then say that jobs report does show inflation cooling a weakened employment market then i want to jump in long and you see those price targets higher back to 74 75 83 50 and 93 50. if i jump to the weekly chart you'll see how high shopify's share price really was at its peak and how much room there is just to get to even uh, around half of what it was ultimately trading at at its highest just before things started to pull back at the end of 2021. So that's what I'm looking for on Shopify, just a worth watching. I'm not really super excited about this one, but the potential is there. AI, something everybody's excited about, was the thinking for this trade on Planeteer Technologies. This company seeks to bring artificial intelligence into the defense space. So I got in long at 1190. I moved up my entry level from $11 because I felt like I missed the move. The AI sector hype was dominating the news cycle. So I did chase the entry here and joined at 1190 on the 24th. That was on Wednesday. And the hot sector mania only continued after NVIDIA reporting their reported their earnings that day in the after hours. Huge upgrades on strong guidance and massive gains that were really sustained. Why don't we jump in and take a look? That were actually su sustained on Thursday and Friday's trading session. So you see that enormous gap up trading at around 300 and moving all the way up into the 380s and 390s, closing out the week at 389.46. So a massive move there, added some steam to that AI hot sector hype, and that allowed me to take profit right away on the same day there at 1336, a small gain of 146 per share, but I do have price targets up higher as you see to 1450 and then more aggressively to 1780 19 21 plus we'll see what happens there and if the fed does have to hike at the june meeting the next important question will be is this ai sector strength strong enough is it more important than what's going on with the rate hiking cycle remains to be seen and then tesla i was also long on this was an event driven play as well. Let me just zoom in here. This was an event driven play around their shareholder meeting investor conference. Uh, I forget what it was actually called, but that was on the 16th of May. And this was after Tesla announced that they would actually be increasing prices on some of their models after the dust had settled from the recall that they had over in the China market. And then with Elon Musk nominating a new CEO over at Twitter, uh, tried to play this one thinking that his focus would be able to come back 
to running Tesla, which was the opposite of what happened when he acquired Twitter and took over as CEO there. So I got my entry at 167.88 on May 17th. Took off profit a couple of days later, 177.50, that was last week. And then this week, Tesla continued to make a good run up higher, was able to take profit there at 188 on May 22nd, a gain of $20.12 per share, nice one. And then we were ever so close to reaching my final price target at 199 on Friday, a few hours into the trading day, and then the stock pulled back, closed out the week at 193.17. I was a little foreshadowing for that Celtics Heat Game 6 that the Celtics stole on the buzzer beater there. Game 7 is tonight as I'm recording this video. I am very excited, I am rooting for the Heat, but I do think the Celtics will win. But that was quite the scene. So my long is still ongoing. 199 is still my final price target. Hope to lock it in this week. Now we'll go back to that Invesco QQQ trust and recap the long that I had going on here. An event-driven trade at the end of April. This was um, the beginning of earnings season, and I wanted to either get in long or short, depending on what we heard out of the tech giants. Microsoft and Meta led the way for the bull case and I decided to go long on the Invesco QQQ Trust after they reported their earnings. So I got it at 314.90. That was on April 27th. Shortly thereafter, took profit. Uh, the next day, 321 again is 610 per share. And you see it running higher as a lot of people became bullish on tech. We do see a rotation from safety into tech. And if you don't believe me, and I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna make you do it this week, you can look at what's been happening in the price action with Coca-Cola, Pepsi, AutoZone, McDonald's, Hershey's. All those safe dividend names have sold off after their last dividend date. Even though they had been uh, the safety trade so far this year that doesn't get a lot of publicity, but something that I was able to take advantage of with especially McDonald's, uh, if you recall. Anyways, this rotation is going on. Tech is gaining steam. The AI hot sector mania pushing tech stocks higher and higher and them leading the gains. Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Google, Tesla, all leading the way for the gains at the index level. And then this week after that, NVIDIA beat. Remember, I had raised the price target to 345 after even I was turning bullish given the recent circumstances. So I got my final price target there on Friday, the 26th at 3.45, a nice gain of $30.10 per share. When you put that all together, this was a net gain of $17.93 per share, a return on investment of 5.7%. So very nice trade here on the long side on the Invesco QQQ Trust. And I mentioned what I wanna do with it this week and play it on a pullback right back on down. So we'll see what happens if we can get that trade on. And I'll be back with you quicker than usual with that shortened trading week to give you an update and show you what I'm looking at to trade next. All right, everybody, so long.